Just a little film this evening about drawing sharks. Sharks are great and uh, I'm a big fan of sharks and I've always dived and uh, snorkeled. I uh, love being in the sea and like a lot of people are fascinated by sharks. I did a book on shipwrecks uh, a few years ago uh, and you can see inside here I've sneaked sharks in wherever I possibly can. I mean I've just every possible corner I've sneaked in sharks. Um, Sharks are most wonderful apex predators. Obviously in Britain we've got lots of sharks like the poor beagle shark and the basking shark and the blue shark uh, and the many cat sharks and rays and, and other sorts of sharks like the thresher shark. Um, and you know they're just exciting animals aren't they? Wonderful apex predators. So this is a great white shark and you can see from a shark like a model of this one here that you've got these fins on a shark which are lovely to draw. I'm just going to talk about drawing um, sharks in a second. So this is a model of a great white shark. So you've got the dorsal fin, the very famous dorsal fin, um, and then you've got the pectoral fins, uh, and then the caudal fins at the back here, caudal fin, and then the second dorsal fin, and then the ventral fin underneath here, and the or pelvic fin and the ventral fin here. So uh, the big fins, obviously the dorsal fin, the pectoral fins, and then the caudal fin on the tail. Um, sharks, you know, have this awful reputation, but actually they're the most wonderful animals and, you know, very, very safe animals to be near nearly all of the time. I mean, shark deaths in the world, about four people a year killed by sharks. Um, 150 people are killed by falling coconuts. 700 people are killed by toasters. I mean, sharks, you know, the numbers are tiny, but yet they have this very undeserved reputation. And the fact is that, you know, humans kill about 100 million sharks a year just from... Uh, shark finning for you know fishing for them to sell their fins. I mean it's shocking. So sharks, hundred million killed a year. Humans four by sharks. So it's just it's it's not it's not a fair reputation, is it? So now that we've established that sharks um, are well, I don't know 175 times less likely to kill you than a toaster, uh, we shall draw a shark. Right. So sharks this wonderful apex predator, um, have a shape that's kind of streamlined because it has to swim through the sea. So it might be like this, look. So a shape that is a streamlined shape that is pointy, so it goes through the sea in that direction um, with a tail that's maybe slightly thinner. Now on the end of the body, obviously you've got the caudal fin, the tail fin, uh, and that might be like this. If we think of a shark like the great white, of course, Carcharodon carcarius, that has quite uh, a chunky solid fin that is not evenly balanced, but pretty evenly balanced top and bottom. All sharks have different types of fins depending on what they feed on and you know how they've evolved in different uh, climates and such like. Um, but if we go for kind of classic sharks, so in this case maybe a great white, so we've got a caudal fin that looks like that. Then we've got what we might call the most famous fin, which is the dorsal fin. So that is quite in the middle uh, and it's curved at the front with quite a straight back. It might have a little notch in like that at the bottom just as it joins the body. And then you've got the side of the shark. You've got these lovely big fins called the pectoral fins and they come down like this. Uh, and like other fins uh, up here, you know, there, there are two of those. So actually you can sometimes draw the other one in the background like that. And you can make it look a bit like it's behind by maybe giving it a bit of shading like that. So you've got the pectoral fins here on the left and right side. Uh, and then you've got at the top, you've got the dorsal fin. And then you've got the caudal fin on the back and the tail. Sometimes you have a second dorsal fin like that. Um, and sometimes you have um, underneath uh, two other fins, the ventral and the pelvic fins. So they're small fins that are like that, uh, and that's your pelvic fin, and that's the ventral fin. So we could label these. So this is pelvic, and this is ventral, and this big tail fin is the caudal fin, and this is the super fin, which is the dorsal fin. And then these here are the pectoral fins. So that's the basic anatomy of the shark. And then you've got at the front here, you've got the eye somewhere in here. So the eye is quite near the front. Uh, and then it might be slightly further back, but somewhere near the front. And then behind that, you've got the gill slits. Now the gill slits might be maybe five gill slits. 
and the sharks don't have a cover over their gills like a lot of fish. They have these slits in the side. Some have six, some have seven, depending on the species of shark. Um, and they're just in front of the kind of the pectoral fins, really. And then joining it all together, you've got this thing called the lateral line that might come down from the nose. And there's lots of little things on here called the ampules de Lorenzi that can sense electrical uh, patterns, so sense fish and such like in the water to eat. But the lateral line runs down here over the top of the gill slits like that and then down the body like this. So it runs down the middle of the body like that, right down the middle like that. And above it, normally, the shark is darker because that's the bit that from the, you know, up at the top of the sea looking down, animals can't see the shark approaching because it's dark and looks dark against the seabed. Whereas the underside might be lighter so that animals that are looking up to see if there's a shark coming just see this white body and maybe don't see the shark in time to get out of the way. Because sharks, of course, are predators. They eat smaller fish and other animals like sea lions, so they need to be not seen. They do need to be able to sneak up. Um, unlike toasters, which you can see coming, but still massively more dangerous. Um, and then, of course, you can work on your drawing a bit. So you might, you know, put a darker line on the top and you might, um, you know, just kind of clarify some of this. You might make it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more shaped, a little bit more scooped there and you might just make a little bit more shape there and then this fin actually might just come out a little bit further up the body like that this pectoral fin I might turn a drawing when I'm drawing like this to just kind of capture you know some of these lines by using my hand on the inside of the curve because it's easier to draw on the inside of a curve than it is to draw a curve from the outside So you'll end up with a shape like that, which we recognise as a shark. Now, we haven't actually drawn the mouth. So the mouth, depending on what kind of shark it is, but the mouth, you know, uh, generally, uh, you know, obviously behind the nose. So if it's a great white, it might come in like that and then have a kind of curve in it. So it's kind of got the mouth is in there and the bottom jaw is in there. Again, when it's closed, it's quite streamlined um, because it doesn't want to get in the way of the flow of the water. So the shark can make good progress through the water. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, a shark's caudal fin goes side to side, up and down, so she, you know, in this drawing, but side to side, and it's driving the shark forwards. And these pectoral fins, the dorsal fins, act, you know, to help, you know, control the shark and keep it going in the right direction. So if you think of a shark from the front, the pectoral fins, uh, you know, coming down like that, and the dorsal fin is at the top. So the pectoral fins, dorsal fin, they provide, you know, these fins that go out into the water and mean the shark can maintain a nice straight line or can glide through the water. Uh, and obviously at the back, sweeping side to side, is the tail fin um, so that it's pushing it forwards like that. And of course, the tail fin on a shark and a fish is different from a tail fin on a whale, a whale or a dolphin, a mammal. Uh, the tail is going, you know, it's flat, isn't it? It's flat and going up and down because it's a mammal, not a fish. So they're all the main things about a shark. Now, of course, once you've done that, you can play with your sketches and get used to drawing sharks, you know, all the time. I doodle sharks all the time. And sometimes they're not real sharks. They're kind of sharks that are kind of co combinations of lots of different types of sharks. Um, but, you know, I love drawing sharks. They're really nice things to sketch. I'd encourage you to draw sharks a lot and enjoy drawing sharks. And they're good fun. Um, and it helps you imagine tropical places and remote islands and the lovely open ocean uh, and distant parts of the planet, but also local places like you know, Devon and Cornwall. I've swum with basking sharks. You know, they're wonderful, wonderful animals. Um, and you might draw pilot fish like this in front of a shark, or you might play with you know, other species of sharks. So you might think about something like the great hammerhead, which has a really big dorsal fin. Um, and then, you know, it's got, again, a nice big caudal fin. It's a very dramatic shark, the great hammerhead. So it's got many of the same, um, you know, sorts of fins as you would see, obviously, in the great white or other sharks, things you'd recognise, the fins like the pectoral and, and the other fins that we talked about, the pelvic and the ventral. But great hammerheads have these really stunning, um, beautiful uh, fins, very large, uh, high, tall, thin uh, dorsal fin, a bit way, you know, like an orca, uh, you know, obviously a marine mammal, uh, you know, a killer whale, that has a very tall dorsal fin as well. But of course, on a great hammerhead, you've got the hammerhead on the front, which is a good fun thing to draw. So, you know, it's got this great hammer shape, which um, is a very powerful kind of sensory organ for sensing electrical signals beneath the sand, so it can tell where flatfish are hiding beneath the sand. So it can kind of see using these magnetic kind of electrical signals, it can see into the sand and see hiding flatfish. Ooh, help me! That are, you know, hiding beneath the sand. But, you know, they have this wonderful hammer shape on the 
on the head. And of course there are scalloped hammer heads and bonnet heads and all sorts of other hammerhead type of sharks as well. So, and obviously sharks like, I don't know, the thresher shark, you know, the thresher sharks have the most amazing tail. The tail is, you know, as long as the body. You know, it's, they've got a kind of chunky little head at the front um, and they've got really big eyes, thresher sharks, because they uh, they hunt at night and, and in the dark depths, so they need to see as much as they can, so they've got big eyes. And they've got quite long um, pectoral fins here. And then they have um, a body here with, um, at the back, you've got the pelvic fins here. But then they've got this enormous, enormous tail, which they use to stun um, fish. They swipe it about to stun little fish uh, and to knock them unconscious so that they can then catch them and eat them. So the thresher shark is just amazing. I get a thresher shark off of the UK as well. So um, another amazing shark. But there are so many species of sharks. They're such wonderful animals. So yeah, I'd encourage you to draw some sharks. Good fun. And to think about wonderful marine, you know, the marine environment and the sea while we're all in isolation. Okay, have fun. Take care. Bye.